Have you ever decided that reading for a file in order is too simple and that it would be far better to be shuffled randomly? No, neither have I. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this video, but hey, some weird commands exist in Linux. There is a command in Linux called shuffle, or S-H-U-F for short. And yeah, it literally just shuffles a file. Shuffles the contents of a file and it echoes it out on the screen as its default behavior. So to explain this in full, what I've done is gone for a for loop in bash, going through variables between one and 20, and then I'm echoing out that variable. So echoing out I in a sequence between one and 20, those do and dones are required to set the boundaries of the for loop. And then I pipe the command through to shuffle or S-H-E-U-F. Although I showed it being used there as an output of a previous command, you can also use it on the files such as this five megabyte text file of the complete works of Shakespeare. Yep, we could put that into shuffle and do that with it. And do it again as well, just for the sake of it. And again, and again. But if I actually want to output the contents of that to a file, what I can do is do shuff-o, which will be the output file. Call it lol.txt. And then I can take a look at that. So the head of that file are those lines there. And the bottom of it is those lines there. If I go back to the for loop and put dash r, that will repeat lines and will repeat forever, apparently. Yep, so that's never going to end. Let's just control C to stop that. Limit. Although I could impose a limit with the argument dash n, which will output 30 lines. At least I think that is 30 lines. So yes, there are repeated lines in there. I can see line 20 at least twice. So that was an obscure command in the Linux terminal. Not sure I can quite see a use of it. If you want a simple way of doing a random number, you can always use the variable random, which is random, a 16-bit random number. That was a look at the shuff command. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.